Hi guys, well now we've got the Nyko databank unboxed, it's time to get the top off the PS4 and get to work and start installing everything. So take the, the little screwdriver that's provided with the Nyko, we'll need that in a moment. First things first, you just gently pull that off and it should just lift away. <laughs> should just lift away, there you go. That's fairly straightforward. And then you use, as I say, you use this to unscrew the screw here. Now let's zoom in on that a little bit. Can you see that? And we've got to unscrew that. And that is for taking out the original PS4 hard drive. There you go, there's the screw that you take out. Now this is what you get with the original PlayStation. The 1200 versions come with a different attachment. and I haven't got one of those so I can't show you how that works. But this is what you'll get out of the original one, it's just a single screw. Okay, keep that in a safe place because you'll need that in a moment. And now what you want to do is you just grab this, zoom in a little bit more, and where the screw came out here, you just take this little lip here and just pull it out, and that's the original hard drive out and in its caddy. There you go. Now your next step will be to fit the Nyko. And we'll do that in a moment. Right, well now we've got it apart, we're ready to start putting the Nyko databank in. So the first thing you need to know is if you're using an original PS4, before the 1200 models, you need to flick this out. And then all you do is you just slide this into there until it goes flush and then you've got the screw hole there and you put the screw back in the original screw that we took out before goes back in to its original position and then we have to fit the top piece and that has got a little lip here and you're going to need to make sure that fits over the back of the PS4 so what you want to do is make sure that goes in like that like so and then let's gently ease it forward and then it should just clip into place which is what it's done now this piece here then we'll clip into the connector here. Now, mine was slightly skewed over this way, so it wouldn't go in very easily. So I had to fiddle around with it to start with, but I moved it over a little bit and it should go in perfectly well now. So there, that's in. So that's that part done. And now it's time to put the hard drive in. And the hard drive, the one I'm using, <laughs> We'll find out whether it works or not. Is a Seagate four terabyte hybrid drive. And we'll soon see if that works. And this end will plug into the back of the drive into the back of the Nyko. Like so, it should just clip in like so. There you go, that's in. And then the top, this piece will go in on top. Now, if you see here, there's a little lug here that will actually hold the drive in place. So we should be able to just clip that on from the front. And there you go, it's on. 
It's as simple as that. And then the one other thing you need to do is this is a pass-through cable. And this goes back into this goes into the back of the PS4, and then the PS4 power supply goes into the back of that. There you go. Just about reaches. You would hope it would reach, wouldn't you? And that is the hardware side of things ready to go. All I've got to do now is plug it back in and hopefully, fingers crossed, we should get it up and running. So I will see you guys soon.